it is hot in this car. Am I okay? Am I going to be okay? Should I open a window? I don't know. I'm actually going to Kroger. Right now, I'm at Goodwill. Today is uh, their 50% off tag sale, but tomorrow is 40% off everything in the store. And I was just going to come tomorrow, but then I thought, hey, the shoes that I tried on, they're actually ankle boots that I tried on last week, had a red tag, and I thought, I wonder if this weekend might be red tag, and if so, I'll get that for half price. So I came, I was here right at noon, there was a crowd of people waiting to get in. I was like, is this always like this? And one woman said, I don't know, first time I come here. So it was a crowd of people, and I ran immediately to the shoes, and my ankle boots were there, and I got them, so excited. Now, the price was, I thought, $8, but they were $7. Can't read that. They were $7, and so I got them for $3.50. They are a little worn, but I mean, not too bad. Come on, $3.50. Nice little heel like I like. <gasps> zip, they zip. Black, faux suede that I like because... Uh, you know, faux leather looks like plastic, and so, so happy. Now, I know people have said, oh, but you're going to get water stains and all that. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I've worn my brown boots in the rain, and they're fine. So, so happy about that. And then I got a shirt to alter. I actually like the shirt. Um, I like the, the print. But the thing is, it's uh, only an extra large. It would take me a long time to get to fit into this. And it's uh, very short, but it looks so simple to make. And I'm going to be cutting it. And it's one of those lacy, like, um, you know, I could see through it. So I'd have to wear a tank top under it, which would be fine. Where the hell, how the hell? Okay, so it, it's like this. It's got the elastic neck which makes it, you know, nice and ruffled. It also has an elastic at the bottom. I would not do that. So what my plan is, oh, and it's just got the um, uh, raglan sleeves. I believe that's what it's called. So I'm going to cut the elastic off and then I will be able to just uh, cut. I'm not gonna bother picking seams because I know I have to make it bigger. I would just cut the, the sleeves off and then I'll have my pattern. See, the it's gonna have to be even wider than that after it's stretched. So I'm anxious to do this. And then I will keep the fabric. I don't know, maybe I can do something with it at some point. So I'm excited. Uh, I paid only $7 for the boots and the shirt. The shirt was also a red tag and it was $3. Uh, so $6, I paid only three. This is fun, and I was gonna look around some more, but I thought, no, I will come back tomorrow. I didn't want to waste my time. Now I have to go to Kroger, and then when I'm out of Kroger, I will tell you about our sad, disappointing night last night. My purse is not being a good tripod right now. <laughs> We're going with it. I had no shade at Kroger at all, so I'm back at the apartment complex and I am going to be dropping off pizza to Derek and Skylar. I, uh, you, know, you know, I was big on couponing there for a while. I was like those extreme couponers that you see on TV. And I've been cleaning up my blog, getting rid of old images because it takes up so much space on my blog. And uh, I started uh, big time with images in 2011 because that's when I started the coupon blog. So I had just all kinds of images. And as I go through, I see hauls that I did, and I said, no wonder I got tired of that. I mean, I could not believe the stuff that I would get, and the price would be like next to nothing. I could shop for like $80 of food and pay out of pocket like $10. It was, you know, it was, it was very stressful, that whole period. I mean, it got to the point where the actual couponing that I did um, became like an illness. It was like somebody who was a gambler, you know, and just had to do it. I had to get every deal, and and it was very, very hard for me to break away from that. Very hard. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was very stressful. But the 
couponing part where I taught people how to use coupons, I absolutely loved that. But then the whole couponing industry uh, stopped paying bloggers like me as much for the coupons that people would print, and it just it just fizzled. Okay, so at Kroger, they have digital coupons. And I used to do that at Hannaford when I shopped at Hannaford in Maine. And then I... Um, haven't done any here because it's all stuff that I don't buy but then I saw on the flyer that uh, butter butter with the digital coupon was only three forty nine a pound and I'm paying like four fifty uh, for you know one thing of butter and you can do five in one transaction so I went there to get the butter and I was so happy and then I noticed that another digital coupon was for freshetta pizza and I remembered that Derek really likes that so I asked him and he said yes pepperoni so I got him three uh, at four ninety uh, three ninety nine three ninety nine per pizza they're like six something so that was that was nice so I'm going to always be watching that and it gives me a way to give something to Derek and Skylar he uh you know he hates if I throw money his way uh but uh he won't refuse food <laughs> so I'm especially going to watch for meat deals because Derek is big on on meat and uh I taught him when I was living there for a month like best ways to cook steak you know slice thin at an angle stuff like that and so he's very big time into beef now and the frozen patties so anyway all right that is it for Kroger I was happy about that now my night out which was supposed to be with Derek and Jeff it's so fucking hot hang on I'm gonna have to put the air conditioner on just a little bit Derek and I left fairly early we wanted a table when we got to sidecar there was absolutely no room I've never seen anything as packed as that there's people just even blocking the door. And we thought at first, why are people, you know, all just gathering here? So we made our way through those people. But the whole entire bar area was just standing room only, crushed, crushing people. It was unbelievable. And they have like a pool room area. That too. Derek is like, what is going on? So um, he stepped outside to call Jeff. Jeff hadn't left yet. And Jeff said, I'm not going. I mean, we can't even sit anywhere. Nothing. So uh, Derek said, well, we're not going to go in. And I said, well, I agree. Now, if I was a drinker, I wouldn't care. Get to the bar somehow and just stand around and get drunk. But neither of us are drinkers anymore. So we really wanted to uh, be able to sit down and have a, a an okay night and we left early because Derek wanted to eat I wanted to see what he texted me when he mentioned eating hang on a sec <laughs> I asked what time the band would start and he says I think the band starts around 8 I'd say we better get there by 7 better chance to get a good table and we can eat dinner do you think they serve sticks of butter <laughs> I, I replied, I can bring my own butter. <laughs> and then I said, I'll just be sure to butter up before I go out. <laughs> and then I had said we could go earlier. And he, um, uh, he agreed that we would go a little bit earlier. But we had no idea we were going to uh, not be able to go in. I mean, there was just no way. So that was sad, but yet I think I said a little bit ago that disappointing, sad. I don't know what I said, but we still had a nice night. He said, well, he says, you can't be wearing that outfit again and do nothing. <laughs> As I told him, it's been like six times I've worn this and I've washed none of it. <laughs> I don't get dirty. He says, well, we got to make it to 10. So he says, we have to still go out and do something. So at first he thought about going, you know, trying to find another bar somewhere, but I, you know, I, I was just kind of in the mood to go to sidecar because I was comfortable there. And, uh, you know, I, uh, it, it, uh, there was a reason to go. They were supposed to be meeting the band about podcast, the podcast and stuff. So I was like, well, let, you know, maybe we could just go for a ride. I would have been happy just going for a ride. But he ended up saying, um, do you know the store's called uh, Bass Pro Shops? <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, like he goes. Do you know what it's what it's like? I was like, like for fishing shit. And I was like, why does he want to take me there? I'm not his grandfather. My father. I mean, he would have. He, you know, he just loved to go shopping at stores like that. 
my father would have loved this place. So apparently, and I don't really know the history, but there's a pyramid type building in Memphis that I think was once used as a place for concerts, basketball games, things like that. And then it was just let go and run down and there was nothing in there. And um, Bass Pro Shops, if I'm saying that correctly, um, bought it. They turned it into something It's so unique. So we went there, we walked around, but they were closing in 15 minutes, but we got to see a lot of it. You know, there's ponds in there with real fish. And because it's a pyramid, it's so high. You can see like to the top of that pyramid in some places, I guess. And uh, they had like trees that I'm sure are not real uh, going all the way up. I mean, it was just, it was like you were walking through a, a wildlife forest. I mean, I've never seen anything so beautiful. And at the same time, you can be buying a hoodie if you want. You know? <laughs> so they had like an arcade for kids. So it was really, it was neat. We did something. I got out of the car. We walked around. And then he dropped me off. And since I was home early, I listed some of uh, the things that I had prepared for my, my fabric sale. And I put that up and let people shop. And that was it. So, you know, we just didn't get to do what we wanted to do, but that's okay. You know, there's, there's plenty more times that we will be able to go out together. So maybe that whole crowd was there to see me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so kidding. You had to watch my previous video. I was letting people know that I would be there. Derek would be there. Jeff would be there in case anybody watches their podcast and would just like to meet us all. Um, yeah, that I'm gonna believe that, you know, that, that's why, that's why it was packed. <laughs> and we disappointed them. All right, I'm gonna go stop at Derek's and put his pizza in the freezer. And then I am going to, uh, I might work on my shirt today. And I was thinking that I know the um, tie-dye skirt that I bought, that's, you know, not stretchy fabric, but maybe that style with it being all gathered, maybe I could make that shirt, uh, my shirt out of that fabric. So I'm just anxious. I will record that as I go, but even if I start it today, it will take a little bit. So you'll see that video um, another time. I guess that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.